Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll talk about BM25. We'll understand how this particular algorithm helps us in information retrieval and how it overcomes some of the challenges posed by TFIDF. So BM25 is nothing but best match 25 algorithm. So it is helped in search engines and vector databases as some of default information retrieval algorithm for finding relevant documents from your database or from your vector db okay so the underlying uh, idea of pm25 comes from tfidf it's the way tfidf tries to give importance to a specific word in a document when compared against the collection of document it tries to add on to that particular uh, algorithm like tfidf okay it tries to overcome some of the challenges of tfidf and improves upon the solution what tfidf provides so let's understand drawback of TF-IDF first of all. So TF-IDF, okay, the TF is nothing but term frequency where the word appearing in a document is taken into account. Okay, so greater the number of times the word is occurring, the greater the TF score is. So consider you have uh, two documents where the word rabbit is appearing in document A 10 times and the total document length is 1000. Now that is document B where this T occurs, the term occurs, rabbit occurs only once and the document length is 10. So based on this TF-IDF term frequency, document A is recommended over document B because the term is appearing 10 times. But if you consider uh, the document length into picture, okay, so the term rabbit appears 10 times in a document length of 1000 words. So it is only 1% of it. So in document B, it is appearing once, but its document length is 10, which is around 10% of the word is document B is uh, represented by rabbit. Okay. So when you consider document length, okay, while calculating TF IDF, so TF, I mean, so the document B is recommended over document A. Okay. That's the idea. So, in the current scenario of TF-IDF, we don't consider document length. So, let's understand, right? When a document is very short, okay, in this case, like 10 words, and where the rabbit is appearing only once, it is more convincing to indicate that the document truly talks about rabbit. And contrastingly, if you see, okay, if a document containing 1000 of words and only 10 words are like rabbit, it is quite uncertain if those particular document of 1000 words is really talking about rabbit or not. Okay, so it makes sense to include document length as one of the parameter to what identify uh, the importance of a word. Okay, so that's why uh, there is something called as normalized TF-IDF where we take in the document length into consideration. So TF of X comma Y is equal to number of occurrences of word X in doc Y and total number of words in doc Y divided by Okay, so that's the scenario where we have normalized TF-IDF where we would give importance to a word while considering the document length into picture. Now there is also another problem called as keyword saturation. So to understand this, let's go to these two points at the bottom. Okay, consider rabbit is occurring 400 times in document A and 200 times in document B. So does that mean like document A is two times more important than document B? Okay. If you have like 5,000 words in a document, okay, the word can appear 100 times in once. In another 500 5,000 words on another document, if it is occurring 200 times, so does that mean, okay, is this document B, which is second considered is more important than the first document by 2x? Okay. So the importance, right? So let's understand just the importance part, okay, in the from the plot, okay, there are like 100 words in a document. If the word T is occurring, okay, 20 times, the TF score is 0.2. If it is occurring 40 times, it is occurring, the score is 0.4. Similarly, if it is occurring 100 times, the perfect score of TF is equal to 1. So it doesn't even make sense, actually, as the number of times the word is appearing, they keep increasing the TF score. So to reduce that, so we have to saturate the value of TF score as the value is appearing more and more times. 
for example if it is occurring 200 times there is one specific score and if it is then appearing once again the importance should not be given linearly the le it should sa start saturating okay that's the point so let's understand this bm25 is an improvement to traditional tf okay so let's understand here right let's discuss keyword saturation first the tf part of tf idf will glow linearly as the occurrences of the keyword grows in the document okay the score jump from 2 to 4 will be identical to the jump from 50 to 52 okay so a word occurring from 2 to 4 times right is more important okay than when you are considering what 50 to 52 times if the word is appearing 50 and then it is appearing like two more times right it should not be given the same amount of importance okay so that's the part we have to what consider and resolve okay through bm25 so there is some separate or a slightly modified formula for tf part okay for this so let's understand here so tf of x comma y where x is the word and y is the document okay and what we do is at the uh, denominator we add plus k so k what it does is controls the contribution of each incremental occurrence of our keyword into the tf score so for example you have 200 times in your particular document now every time that word occurs again in that particular document the amount of importance that is given by that particular word to the tf score it should start reducing it should not give the same amount of importance as the first word that particular word occurred okay as it is occurring for 201st time okay it should give lesser importance and the same word which it appeared first time it should give some different amount of importance okay so that's the whole point okay let's understand it better right so you can see here in this particular plot um, so we have a what tf idf of where you have linearly incrementing uh, line between number of the term occurrences in a 100 word document and the tf score every time the word is present the tf score is increasing now what we do is we add the term the denominator plus k okay so if you if it is occurring first time the k is equal to 1 if it is occurring second time we uh, the value is added in the board denominator and it automatically reduces the tf score as it keeps increasing the uh, tf score keeps reducing from the chart we can clearly see the red color line is having a much more curved representation and it is getting saturated early okay than other lines or other curves because as the number of times the word appears the tf score starts uh, reducing and it st stops giving the same amount of importance it is supposed to give so as k increases the tf score starts decreasing it means the t contribution to tf score it stops it is starts decreasing as well so it, this this particular uh, parameter right the k parameter tries to solve the key, uh, keyword saturation so and that is as i talked about earlier right as there is another fundamental improvement of bm25 compared to traditional tf idf is the document length taken into account okay so let's understand that part here in the formula okay tf of x comma y the word x appearing in document y okay the tom numerator you have tf of x comma y divided by tf of x comma y plus k k is the word that is we just now saw the parameter okay as the number of occurrence of this particular keyword increases the contribution towards tf score is reduced okay so k into d of y which is the document length which is the total number of words in the document divided by average document length okay so the whole corpus you have 100 documents each document's length and its average we calculate the average of all the documents in the corpus so that's the uh, formula for where we include k parameter and also the length of the document while scoring tf if the document is shorter than average okay so you can understand here for example the length of the document that is d of y is short which is if the length of the document is 10 and the average document length is 500 okay 
so automatically the value becomes uh, will be zero almost very less okay the whole point of document length is it will become very less and the tf score that the whole tf score will start decreasing because the denominator is decreased and the tf score will increase okay it will be vice versa so the shorter documents okay since the shorter documents then will approach the saturation point quicker than longer documents that's obvious actually so one thing right so here in this scenario what we are doing is we are considering document length okay and we are trying to what ink ink what include the importance of document length okay but there will be scenarios where what uh, where we cannot read the, all the corpus as equal okay so we what we do is we try to include another parameter called as b okay which will control the importance of the document length in the overall score so what it is it is just an minus plus of b parameter 1 minus b plus b in the denominator okay so when b is equal to 0 it means the document length is not considered and when b is equal to 1 the document length is considered for tf scoring so that is another parameter where we try to what understand or give the importance to the document length itself okay so this is uh, till now what we have seen is the tf aspect of tf idf how we try to what uh, improve on the tf scoring by including parameter like k and b okay there is also something called as idf part of tf idf which is modified in bm 25 as idf of x is equal to idf of n minus df of x plus 0.5 divided by df of x plus 0.5 so here n represents the total number of documents in the corpus and df is the number of documents in which the term is occurring then in this case x the term is x so in this formula right there is one particular problem that is if df of x meaning uh, if the word is appearing in more than 50 percentage of the documents okay then it will turn into a negative value okay the whole formula will have negative value and in in the in information retrieval it doesn't even make sense to have what a negative value because if it is uh, uh, zero right in that case the word is not present okay negative value doesn't make any sense okay so to avoid that what they do is they bring in something called as 1 plus of the whole equation and then they calculate the log okay so that's the whole point of this idf part and in general the equation of bm25 is tf of x comma y into k plus 1 by tf of x comma y plus k into 1 minus b b is the parameter used for uh, changing the importance of document length and k is the parameter for uh, reducing the importance of each term okay and then we have log of n minus df of x this is the inverse document frequency okay so uh these two terms are there so how to what uh decide the values for these two parameters okay so in real world application based on the experiments done by researchers k value is to be uh, like 1.2 uh, approximately you can keep it as 1.2 and b value is 0.75 in most of the corporate will work okay but there is also what uh, one best solution is not present it is up to the user they have to what trial and error do the trial and error and try to find the best values for k and b so k tends to be optimal within the range of 0.5 to 2 while the value of b tends to be optimal between 0.3 to 0.9 so this is the whole uh, what a bunch of uh, techniques right like how to understand how to set the values of k and b so when tuning the value of k ask yourself the question how long is the average length of your document okay if you have collection of very long documents then a keyword will be lost will most likely appear several times even when a document doesn't really discuss that word that keyword in this situation you want to set the key value k value in a higher range such that the saturation point of the tf score wouldn't be reached too quickly okay the opposite also also true the if the average length of your document is short then you might want to set the k value to be in lower range okay this is a, has a said earlier in the shorter documents the k value should be less okay such that it quickly reaches the saturation point 
similarly regardless regarding the b value ask yourself the question what kind of documents do i have what the length of the document in my use case affect the relevancy of keyword for example if you have collection of long scientific documents chances are that most of the words contained in those documents are important for you might want to set b to be lower range okay meanwhile if you have a collection of opinionated subjective documents you might want to set the b value in a higher range to penalize the potential keyword spamming in both short and long documents so uh, b is decided based on the kind of content you have okay so if the content contains lot of too many keywords okay scientific research then you should have b is equal to lower range if it is like subjective and it is based on some one's opinion okay it is better to keep it in higher range so with this we understood right how bm25 overcomes some of the problems posed by tfidf so with this i'll conclude this video thank you so much